get a free copy of Altium software using the link provided in this video description. When you sign up for an Altium Designer free trial, you will get an Altium 365 and 25% off discount. Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we will learn how to design a PCB in Altium Designer. The circuit that we want to build today is a flusher with 555 time. So we will start from schematic to PCB and finally we will get a 3D view like this. So let's get started. First we will create a new project. So we will go to file, new, project, change the project name to timer. Then we will select the folder. Hit create. After that we want to create a PCB and schematic file to the project. Then we will save the files to the same file of the project. Now we will start from the schematic. This is the circuit that we want to build. We need a 555 timer and 4 resistors and 2 diodes and 1 capacitor. If you want to know more information about this component, you have to go to Octopart website and search to the any component you want and read the data sheet. Now we want to install the library, so we will go and double click to the library and hit extract. Then we will add the footprint to the schematic. Add footprint, browse, hit OK. OK. And remove the empty one. Yes. Now we will create a BCB and schematic libraries. Then we will put the schematic to the schematic library and the BCB to the BCB library. Then we will add the other libraries at the same way.
Now we will add the 3D body to the footprint. So we will go to place 3D body and select the 3D body and hit open. Then we will drag it here. Then we will align it with the beds. Now we will go to the schematic and get all the components that we need. Now we will connect all the component according to the circuit. Then we will change the resistor value If you notice there is an error Because there is a many component have the same name Instead of change it manually you have to go to tool Annotation, annotation schematic And all on update changes and hit OK, accept the changes, validate the changes, execute the changes, and close. So the error is gone. Now we will convert the schematic to a PCB. So we will go to design, update PCB document, and hit validate changes, and execute changes. Then close. Now we want to select all the component and drag it to the workspace. Then we will delete the room and rearrange the component. Now we want to draw the cover tracks, so we will go to route, auto route, all, route all, and close. Then we will change the board shape, so we will go to view, board planning mode, then we will go to design, edit board shape, and change the board 
to fit all the components. And this is the final shape. Hopefully this video will be useful for you and thank you for listening. This video is brought to you by Antium 365, where the world designs electronics, and Octopar, the fastest search engine for electronic parts.